brief introduction about myself. I'm a class of 1998 graduate with specialization in banking and finance. I moved to Canada in May 2012, joined RBC in January 2014, became a mortgage specialist two years back, and since then I've helped numerous clients in their home buying journeys. Today, I will be focusing on mortgages in light of the Newcomers to Canada program. I know a lot of you on this forum are newcomers to Canada and are looking to buy your first homes. It's a very daunting process. There are a lot of misconceptions in the market about qualification, but I'm here to help you. I will not be able to answer all the questions, but I will leave my number at the end of the video. So if you have any further questions or concerns, you can always reach out to me. First three things that any mortgage specialist or a lender looks at when they're qualifying a client are down payment, income, and credit bureau. So these are the three most important things that you have to keep in mind. Um, there are misconceptions about down payments. A lot of people think that they can't buy a house unless they have 35% down payment. That is not true. We can qualify you with even as low as 5% down payment, provided you can carry the 95% loan to value. Now, how do you carry that 95% loan to value? That's where your income comes in. So you have to have sufficient income in order to carry that 95% loan to value. Uh, if you can't, then you have to increase your down payment. So, so the total 100% um, purchase price that you have to pay for a particular property comprises of your down payment and the mortgage that we can give you based on the income that you draw. If, however, you're paying 20% or more towards your down payment, then you don't have to worry about the mortgage insurance and then you only have to worry about a lower loan to value. So the higher the down payment, the lower the loan to value and the lower the income that would be required to qualify you. Now let's elaborate a little bit on the first and the most important criteria, which is your income. Um, so income can be two, of two types. Uh, one is uh, employment income and the other is self-employment income. Um, so just keep these three uh, very basic criteria in mind, your down payment, your income, and your credit bureau. And make sure that you have a pre-approval before you start looking at properties. Um, I know it's very, very enticing uh, to look at all the properties that are being sent to you by your realtors or the ones that are available online. I know it's very easy. Uh, for you to get distracted and there are beautiful homes available out there and who doesn't want to live in a beautiful house but it's very very important to get a pre-approval so that you don't waste your time and you don't waste the time of the so in order to maintain a good credit bureau there are certain things that you need to keep in mind don't go overboard with credit cards um, when you go to a bank to open your brand new account as a newcomer to Canada, every bank qualifies you for a credit card. You would get a $2,000 credit limit from a, a reputable bank. Um, my personal advice is that you should probably just go to one bank, get a credit card from there, open your account over there, and that should be it. Uh, a lot of people say that the more the credit cards you have, the better your credit score will get. Um, that's not true. Um, you can have um, maybe two credit cards, maybe two reputable credit cards, or even say, for example, if you go to a retail store like a Canadian Tire or Hudson Bay or Home Depot, they also offer you credit cards. You can maybe get one credit card from the retailer that you shop at most, say, for example, Loblaws or Walmart. And I think those two credit cards are more than enough. I've been in Canada for four years, uh, for eight years, sorry, and I've had one RBC credit card, one um, PC financial credit card. I was offered a credit card from Walmart, which I took, but I hardly used. And then there was an American Express credit card. So in the last eight years, I've had these uh, four credit cards and I've just used credit card from RBC and from PC financials because that's where I shopped the most. So keep that in mind that you have to be very mindful about where you're, uh, how you're using your credit card. Uh, the other thing that you obviously buy as you land in Canada is your car. If you bought it on cash, a second-hand car, that's fine. That's very good because you're just starting. Your focus is buying your house in the near future. So you want to spend as less as possible. 
but there are a lot of people um, who buy car by taking financing or leasing that's also perfectly all right that does not have a negative impact on your credit bureau um, but that does build your liabilities. Owning a home in Canada is a dream that every Canadian dreams of whether he's a Canadian citizen a PR holder or a brand newcomer to Canada. I'm Nayab Kazi, Mogis Press at RBC, and I can help you make that dream come true.